So I'm watching this trailer of Atlas. Now this is not Agents of Atlas, which is a Marvel comic books title. And it's not Tom Hanks in Cloud Atlas. Nope. This is about Jennifer Lopez reinventing herself as a science fiction action star. She's apparently interfaced to some kind of robot. She never actually sees, she's just talking to its AI. So if she spends the whole movie talking to someone she can't see, it reminds me of the old Angelina Jolie movie, The Bone Collector, where Denzel Washington is in a bed, paralyzed, and he's walking her through this mystery, searching for clues. Uh, that movie's already been done. Let's focus on this little sequence here. She is up on a space station and there's an explosive decompression. So she is put into a robot warrior suit and is flung out at apparently 10 G's of force, which should have killed her. And they're showing objects impacting, again, with the force that should kill her. And you watch her tumbling through space. Now she's not on any kind of gravity system that might have been on that ship. She's just floating, floating here in zero gravity or microgravity. They show us her tumbling at incredibly high g-forces over the surface of the earth and yet you go into this cockpit and she's able to counter the g-forces of being violently tumbling around in this robot body by just putting her hands out. Even worse, they don't even make any effort to show her hair being in microgravity. Why isn't her hair swaying around with the violent motions of tumbling around as they're showing here. Her hair is per hanging down perfectly flat and yet look at this thing spinning all over the place in space. Why is her hair floating down with the pull of gravity as if she's standing on Earth on a sound stage? So they, whatever they spent on this movie, you can tell just from the trailer, they didn't spend anything on making the space uh, scenes in the slightest realistic. I'd rather go watch Gravity, starring Sandra Bullock, which came out some time ago. At least they tried to show you what the effects of that would be on that particular movie. Sandra Bullock put in a great performance there. Even her hair, expertly done by her makeup artist, is completely immune to Isaac Newton's laws of gravity. Uh, this is not something I would have any reason to tune into. This is just stupid. Thank you.